I want to know. I want to know what Snow's doing right now. I feel like she's involved. Something shady about her. I feel like. Maybe I'm way off, but I felt like that for a couple episodes now. Actually, ever since she showed up when uh, Bluebeard was interrogating Tweedledee or Tweedledum, I can't remember which one. Alright, um, take a look at the packages. So this is where they've been sending these. The best safety device is a careful worker. <laughs> Great. Shepherd. Huh. It's spelled... Isn't that how the Mass Effect spelling? Uh, what? That wasn't even a sentence. Sorry about that. Isn't that how John Shepard from Mass Effect is spelled? Alright. It's not how you actually spell the word Shepherd. Alright, Bloody Mary, where are you? Can we prove you're not so tough? The big bad wolf. God. Yes, please come out so I can tear your throat out. Please. What's this? It's a coffin or something. You used to be something. Oh my god. So annoying. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what this was about right here. Faith and Narissa getting into it. Who's that? Well, there's... Bigby and Snow having a good time. Bigby having a smoke. Is that... Was that when I had a smoke with, uh... The Woodsman? Huh. Alright. They used to fear you. If you're smart, you still will. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would be. <sighs> Give me a break. Bleach. <laughs> Let's hold her down and pour bleach down her throat. That'll get her. I'm sorry, I really hate her. What? What are you? Where are you? Workbench. Oh, silver bullets. Looks like she's got a bunch of them. but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't <laughs> worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. Sure no, I want to play. Ah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Oh, give me a break. Where'd she go? Is she hiding in the glass and the light bulb? I don't know. Are we gonna get to pour that like vat of molten uh, liquid on her? Cause that'd be sweet. Kind of like a Viserys death from Game of Thrones. That would be satisfying. Oh God.
What? Damn it. That was too quick. Come on. Give me a chance. Talk about stealing shots. What? I pressed it! Fuck! Where are you? Come out and face me! Give me a break. Dude, this is pissing me off. Get her! Get her, Bigby! Come on! Yeah, bang her head a couple more times. Ow. Oh. Or just fall down. Alright, so he's second stage, but it's not even his final form, so... to know oh god Bigby, come on, transform! Oh shit! Oh ho 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 ho! Man! Oh, big bad wolf is right! Oh my god! Get her, get her! Oh my god! This is freaking never ending! Oh man! He huffed and he puffed. Yeah, you scared now? Looks like it. Man, that was, uh... That was pretty epic, but... Not fully satisfied with that. 
I uh, wanted to taunt her a little bit before she went down. I guess the fear in her eyes was, uh, was good enough. Are you worried yet, crooked man? Cause you should be. All your flunkies are going out one by one. The only ones left are Jersey Devil and the Tweedles. Which actually, they're not even here. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. What? Why? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. You All gave I'm the order! A chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're off to the practice. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. Again? My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Oh no! I did intimidate him, good. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I'm not so sure. I'm really nervous about this. <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... Is this the trial? He's back. <gasps> no. Crooked man. Thank God. <laughs> Motherfucker. I feel like he's Are gonna twist okay? this somehow. It's been hours. 
We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the Crooked Man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... Mm-hmm. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes! What are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get These off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking to crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder of As I Faith already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Mm -hmm. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? I knew is he'd do he this. Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest <laughs> of the charges. <laughs> All right, Milton. Charges. If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. Let her finish. And you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. That's right. <clears throat> Take a seat. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and God. providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. That's right. Willingly. Yes, thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. <laughs> Bullshit! Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Let Everyone him talk. just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where world. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it, But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really what? This is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. Ugh. How are you going to twist you have it? The floor. Let's go. Let's hear it. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such bullshit! For you always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. 
Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? No. Holy, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, <laughs> it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. What's he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. Exactly. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Exactly. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Oh, God. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Eh. You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. That's right. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? I know. Snow made a mistake. I had very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had Jeez. nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. That's right. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Maybe you God. haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. That's right. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. Yay! You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Ooh, Auntie Greenleaf is leaving him too. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murders. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Of course. Now, I'm no barrister, 
But I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Ah, Nerissa! Especially given Nerissa. Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Nerissa, maybe, come maybe on. He's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. She can talk now, she doesn't have the ribbon. Of course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him- Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Uh, Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? What? I... He was what? beaten to mashed apples that while was under Bluebeard. your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. <sighs> That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely That's right. different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know- The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to- Bluebeard, please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to- no. This is how it's always been. This oh my is God. what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Uh. That me? Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be Bigby? the- Miss White! Yes, yes! I was waiting for it. Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's mother? she doing here? I'd like to, I, I need to say something. We Please. kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course, go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. That's you enslaved right. us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. He might as well have. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Yes! And this Go Nerissa! It. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid- At least five other girls will back me up on <laughs> Watch this. Watch it. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me. Me too. 
So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Yeah. Wait! What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood so so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think This we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to Shut make up, a decision. Shut up, Bluebeard. Ooh. I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should vote. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? God. This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Stay. No. Just do what you think is right. Oh, man. Yes, Sheriff. Rip his head off. What you think is right? Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Let's throw him down the well. Way. Oh, fuck! I wasn't prepared. There you are. I hope... You all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You Let's know, do it. just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. No, I won't. <laughs> Fable Town will remember that. Awesome. For Lily. And Faith. Yes. Another one of us to erase from the book. Shut up, Annie Greenleaf. God. Give it a rest. Whew. Man, that was... Intense. I was kind of afraid when it said that he was winning the crowd or whatever. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. Oh, that guy. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Or is Colin going to the farm? Is Toad going to the farm? This fucking line. Hey, everybody. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. I'll take him to him, I guess. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? What? Good morning, Miss Weird. You're late. Someone 
one's gonna see you, Colin. What are you doing? I don't understand what he's doing. Is he taking advantage of my protection, as it were? Uh. Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! Forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Just go grab that, would you? I'm not saying anything. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. Oh my God. <laughs> you know he was up crying all night, poor kid. Stop trying to manipulate. Ah. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, she was nice. So. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Man, Bye, tr Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Goodbye, TJ. Hey, tr Big B. Uh... Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Man? Yeah. Right, that's what I thought. See you later. I like him. I don't like you. Bye. Man, saying you know goodbye. Mm. Trying to make TJ feel better. Stop trying to guilt me, you know? Like everything he's doing is just manipulating. Uh, me. Hi. Into feeling guilty. It's stupid. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Okay, well... Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? What? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. What, 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 what? I'm not sure where to start. Uh-oh. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. 
You have to understand. I see. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Georgie didn't do mercy. You know that. He could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? <sighs> it was true enough. Man. I guess uh, it's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily. But she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. I see. You? I walked her over here. Oh. And I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... So, that piece of fabric I found near there... That was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. Well, it's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there, and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Well, thanks, I guess. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, man. Brought it back full circle. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. 
trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Doctor Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Duh. I'll see you around. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've... I figure... Oh, man, I figured something like that would... Hmm. Who would let her go? Wouldn't you want to see more? I thought that they were going to give me... I mean, I guess it makes sense to leave it off there. All right, let's look at the player choices. Okay, I'm just in the minority of killing Georgie. Most people let him suffer. All right. Come on, man. No one deserves that. Did you give the crooked man a trial? Most people brought him back alive. That's good. I mean, I imagine if you killed him, then the rest of it would have been quite short, right? How did you punish the crooked man? Okay, so about a third threw him down the witching well, which there were three options, so that makes sense. Oh, come on. Who wouldn't accept TJ's gift for snow? Give me a break. Huh. That's about a fourth, and there were four choices, so... And again, this is the first day, so this is, you know, very preliminary information. Well, I guess, is that it? That's it. Ooh, special stats. Beauty, I impressed her with my detective skills. Fought Bluebeard after the interrogation. Gave him a drink when he asked for one, helped him avoid the farm, which, after the end of that, I'm kind of... <sighs> wasn't really rewarding seeing him walk around with that six-pack. It's like he was taking advantage of me. Okay, so Crooked Man is dead. Took him back to the witching well. Tossed him down the witching well. Yep, that's good. Gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. Georgie, I did not smash up his place. I... I hit like two things. Oh, that is not fair. Yes, I did pretend to be woodsman. Thank you. I don't know why that's so noteworthy. Made a deal with Jack. I brought Snow along with me to the trip trap. So that's that's it. Thanks. Oh, Tiny Tim, I I forgot all about him. Wade for him. TJ accepted his beetle. Toad, I stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm, but he was sent to the farm anyway, so there you go. Kind of figured that that was inevitable, though. And there's the credits. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed. I, uh, as a whole, I thought it was decent. Um,. I mean, there was the twist at the end, but I kind of expected there to be more of that earlier on, I guess. I don't know, I think it does leave you with more questions than answers, which is nice, sometimes, I guess. Um, as a whole, I think I, you know, prefer The Walking Dead as a series, but... To be honest, the last episode of The Walking Dead in Season 2 wasn't that... wasn't that great in my opinion, so... <sighs> this was a nice change of pace, at the very least. And, uh, I don't know if there'll be another season or not. But, uh, if, if there is, Telltale hasn't announced it. I know this is supposed to be a, uh... uh, canon uh, canonical prequel to the Fables series, so... I'll have to read that next and see what happens in the story. Anyway, uh, remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Please, please, it helps a lot. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.